Hello, Namaste and welcome in the series of cyber security. This side is Meena and today I will discuss about what are the new hiding techniques a, ran a ransomware is used. Ransomware when uh, attack on your, on your uh, device, it encrypt the data, it can encry encrypt your uh, files, folders, your drive, a com com complete system, your backup server lot of things it can do so and if you want to decrypt it then definitely you need to pay a lot of amount to the cyber criminals okay so what are the different techniques uh, the cyber criminals using to hiding their ransomware from our uh, security systems okay whether uh, we are using our antiviruses or some other services firewalls whatever we are using they are able to hiding it what are what are the reason why they are able to do it let's say for example uh, a very famous or devastating uh, ransomware that's a gan crab this is uh, the very famous uh, ransomware that is uh, uh, having a uh, like 40 percent share of all the ransomware so what nowadays what uh, evasion infections methods is it's using to hiding themselves so uh, they are using the legitimate services which are uh, file as we can say okay so uh, they are using those services which are uh, uh, security uh, security devices are or services are looking yes these are the legitimate services so uh, these are not uh, the part of any threat clear so like uh, window management instrument is for the command prompt or the cmstp that's a vba kind of data or some javascript is running so these are the normal legitimate so they are the under a particular sequence or so the chain is there uh, they are working Okay. For example, say first they will execute this one. This will in, uh, evoke the other uh, command prompt over there. Uh, they will run the uh, another commands, multiple commands, and they will call a different function. Okay. And after that, they will execute this CMSTP. Okay. And they will contact to the remote server, and from over there they will download the payload for the ransomware and in the background that will start to execute and will start to uh, encrypt the data so there is a particular sequence the attackers are using and hiding in, in the in the background with the uh, legitimate service okay. so just let's see the, with a close look how it's work for example you are a user okay and you received an email from korean okay, and over there it is just having a word document it is a phishing mail where they just uh, used a wonderful language uh, so that it can convince you or just it it, it just prompt uh, yes i want to see what is in the, that word document here yeah. So, uh, if you just you will, uh, you will just fall in the trap of that phishing email, and if you, if you will open it, then what will happen? Just let's see. Uh, when you will click it uh, uh, on the word document, that word document will ask you to enable content. When you will enable content, that means then it will allow you to show what is uh, the uh, content exist in it or whatever that they have written in it okay and once you will uh, click on this button in the background macros will okay and that macros will call multiple functions which you don't know that because that is running the in the background they are hiding they are using those kind of coding which can bypass the our uh, security systems okay. and uh, hackers now it is what they are doing they are using ransomware as a service so even with that last knowledge 
the guys who are not that much of the technical they even can use it there is a complete setup for it 24 by 7 they are providing the services for it okay and on the deep web they are selling it with a uh, with with a few few dollars okay and uh, complete services they are providing support they are providing to just perform this uh, kind of attacks so it is very hard for the cyber security professionals to catch it and uh, for uh, cyber criminals it's very very easy okay so let's see after just opening this uh, particular web document uh, click on the enable content button what will happen it will just uh, uh, execute the vba code understand and when the vba code will execute it will just call the goat focus and that goat focus does, uh, is a we can say sent uh, root where it will just call multiple functions uh, okay just you can see here there are the multiple functions it will call okay and once you will uh, see here this will execute this one and after that it will call the command prompt and it will execute the command and another the chain of the next one it will execute this cmstp.es which will bypass the app load okay so in the background a lot of services are running you just don't know what is happening and the task of that ransomware will start after that let's see and once that cmstp will run okay it will contact the remote server where the uh, payload for the ransomware exists and over uh, the paste bin dot com where the payload exist for the ransomware they will download on your and once th that will be on your computer they will just uh, uh, systematically they will just uh, start to uh, run on your computer in the background and then they will encrypt your files folders for the drive return they will ask huge amount of money okay so solution is that when you are receiving an email and if it is having an attachment be careful think twice from which source you are receiving what kind of email it is when you are before opening on your computer you can check it on virustotal.com uh, okay over there it will just tell you if that is having some malicious kind of content or not. clear and uh, update your ba backup keep it offline so that if some kind of attack will happen you need to get the ransom uh, for uh, to the attackers you can uh, um, use your backup restore so in this way uh, they are using the legitimate services to hiding themselves and they can encrypt your valuable and follow me on the cyber security prism and get the notification for the next trusting and info share that session with your friends and the group members so that they will be able to understand how this uh, ransomware is working and what are the ways they can protect their uh, valuable data from the ransomware attack okay and in the next session i will discuss about what are the components of a home namaste see you in the next